Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we're going to have the latest from the live radar, the um, GFS, GM, Eastern BF, GFS ensembles and then we'll finish up having a look at the weather warnings and the UK Met Office run as it does look like potentially later this coming week we could be seeing another named storm. Now I have been saying over the last few days, in the last week, the westerly phase we're in, very active jet stream and the possibility of seeing some named storms and we're starting to see some consistency within the models of seeing an interesting feature, a sort of a door to low developing off the main, uh, main low up in Iceland. Moving through the UK in around Thursday, Friday time, could be giving very gusty winds. It has got a lot of cold air wrapped on its northern edge. So there could be some heavy snow from it, um, but generally very disruptive from that wind and snow and rain, of course, as well. So have a look at that in detail in this video. So do remember, if you enjoyed my videos, make sure to like and subscribe. And remember to follow on Twitter as well, the link's in the description. Now, if we just start on the live radar, we don't have a name storm today, but we do have a miserable area of low pressure, which is giving heavy rain across the entire country. Now, it starts off further westwards earlier today. So many areas in the west and southwest are starting to dry off. Some areas, especially across parts of Wales and central southern England, still have got a heavy rain. But other areas are starting to uh, see that rain ease up. But it is still steadily falling across many parts of central England, eastern England. Of course, you get oreographic rainfall over the high ground. But probably the heaviest pulses now are moving into central areas through in, uh, through London, sorry, uh, the Midlands and into East Anglia and the South East. Elsewhere, still heavy rain further northwards, but not quite as widespread. And there's a bit of snow over the high ground of Scotland. But this is just uh, a sort of pattern that's going to be repeating this week with very heavy rain quite widely. And of course, as I said later this week, could be very strong winds and maybe some snow on its northern edge. And remember, the exact track of this low pressure system is not decided. So some models are showing snow even down into the Midlands, perhaps. Um, but We'll have a look at that. So I won't have a look at the snow graphs, of course, today, as we are too far out to make any judgment calls. I don't really want to overhype it at this stage, but there is that potential there. Now, if we do have a look at Wetter Central, have a look at the latest from the GFS, you can see this big air flow pressure that is producing all this heavy rain. Uh, and if we do have a look at the entry of THP temperatures, you can see that big milder sector that is producing all this moisture and heavier rain. Temperatures quite are up today, though, but it's not going to feel that partic uh, particularly pleasant out there uh, by any means. Beyond that, though, you see generally those purples returning to the North Atlantic. And then as we head through Wednesday into Thursday, this big daughter low, sorry, this big mother low system towards Iceland to the north of Scotland. Heavy, strong winds there. But it's what happened in this little kink in the jet stream down here. Now, if we do watch it move through, you see the small low pressure system develop through Thursday evening into Friday. Now, it doesn't look too deep here, but you see it rapidly deepens on approach to the UK. And again, if we look at those upper air temperatures, bitterly cold air wrapped around its northern and western edge, heavy snowfall possibly there. And again, it all depends on its track. Now, if we do go into the United Kingdom look and have a lie on it on the 500... Uh, on the sorry the pressure charts now you can see it coming in around 190 millibars but give it a couple hours and you will see that it does um it's got a bit of lag there sorry then it does get down to around 970 968 so we could be seeing rapid cyclogenesis from this i.e um the pressure dropping by 24 um, millibars in the space of 24 hours or 48 millibars in the space of 48 hours um, whatever way you want to define it but it could be very very severe deepening of this low pressure system very strong gusty winds along this um, could be in excess of 80 90 miles per hour similar to the storms we've had recently and widespread winds as well and again if you look at those entry of THP temperatures um, very cold on its western edge and if we do have a look at the uh, snow to a total snow depth um, you will be able to see there is some snow across northern Scotland. So it would be mainly a snow event over higher ground, but not exclusively. And you can even see on its back edge a bit of snowfall through early hours of Saturday across northern England and parts of Wales. Again, all depends on its exact track. And that's something we'll really have to keep an eye on it. Now, if we do go out, out to the general European outlook and then run through right towards the end, Again, you can just see generally westerly once again. You can see these small low pressure systems potentially developing once again, but we maintain this westerly flow, small low pressure systems pushing in. And of course, you see that jet stream slightly further southwards, so more cold air digging in. Not widespread snow by any means, but could be some more snowfall across northern Scotland. As you can see, those 850 HP temperatures are pretty chilly across parts of northern Scotland. And as we head right towards the end of the run, you can just see generally cold to our north, mild to our south, mixing, giving 
low pressure systems really spinning up and potentially some snow over higher ground. So it continually looks very unsettled and potentially stormy to end February and start meteorological spring. Now, if we do have a look at the GM run, see how that does compare. Again, once, uh, once again, you can see that low pressure system spinning up later this week. Really deep low pressure system towards northern parts of England and Scotland. 970 millibars, uh, maybe even deeper than that in a few, uh, uh, if we do see it really spin up. And once again, we could be seeing some snow with that. So not too much... Um, Disparity between those two runs, and again, right towards the end, you see generally a real flat westerly wind, pretty chilly as well, coming in from the northwest. So, not too much disparity in those two runs there, but of course, we're going to get got to give it another 24 to 48 hours to firm up really on its exact track, and even then, it could subtly shift um, and maybe deepen even more. So, we'll have to see exactly how it does play out. But this could very much be named be a named storm. Um, have a look at uh, what we're seeing on the charts at the moment. Now, if we do have a look at the ECMWF, see how that does compare. Only goes in 24 hour increments, so we won't be able to see detail on this potential name storm later this week, but we'll still be able to see it develop. So you can see later this week, as we're towards Thursday, you can see the small low pressure in there, around 999.80 millibars in the centre, and of course it will be spinning up through Friday. So Friday could be a very blustery, unsettled, and maybe wintry day for some areas in the north. Um, and again, we'll have to keep an eye on that. Beyond that though, Nothing too dissimilar to the other models with generally westerly winds. A bit more of a high pressure influence though towards day 10. But again, that is very much to, uh, uh, up to uh, uh, subject to change. And if we do run out to it, you can see it actually could be starting to bring in some milder air from the south with that. But of course, um, nothing is certain at this stage. And things are changing very, very quickly. Um, but all really uh, in from the west um, with our weather patterns. Now, if we do have a look at the uh, UK Met of, uh, sorry, the GFS Ensembles, then we'll have a look at the UK Met Office run. You can see that very much up and down temperatures, classic zonal sine wave with warmer, colder, warmer, colder sectors. Uh, really not changing too much at all. Um, not looking uh, great if you're wanting any drier or colder weather, really. But where we have those colder sectors, for example, later this coming week, that's where we could be seeing some winteriness. And you can see London potentially going much colder, others staying a little bit milder. So again, all depends on what happens with that load pressure and how it does spin up through the end of this working week. Um, beyond that, though, temperatures are generally around average. But once again, I suspect it will be oscillating above and below, giving temperatures generally, I'd say, a touch above average. Because even when we do get the cold air masses through, it's not going to be hanging around long enough to give any significantly cold temperatures. So yeah, not looking great. And significant uh, precipitation again precipitation will mainly be in the north as those the storm track at this stage is still towards scotland not quite as far southwards um, but as you saw with the gfs run potentially hinting it could drop a bit further southwards towards the end of february but of course we'll have to see exactly how that does play out still heavy precipitation in the south but perhaps just not quite as significant um, as further northwards again if you look at the new snow depth you can see some are showing significant snowfall but it's only a few ensembles at this stage whereas if we do go to glasgow Further northwards, I'm expecting to see significant snow spikes, and that is what we do see towards the end of this working week. Potentially significant snow, again, 20 to 25 centimetres on some runs, only a couple centimetres on, on, on others. So it all really depends on um, on the exact track of the low. And again, sea level pressure, you can see some going really deep down to 960, 970. Others stay remaining around um, sort of uh, 990, 980. So, yeah, still uncertainty with regards to low pressure later this week, but it could be a potential name storm and we'll have to see exactly how it does play out. Now, if we do have a look at the weather warnings, we do have weather warnings in force for today, the rain warning, but we've had a look at that already in the past two videos, so I won't update that as it does um, expire 6 p.m. this evening, so probably when most of you will be watching this video. But towards Wednesday, Thursday, we now do have a preemptive wind warning. Now, of course, that name storm we're potentially looking at is Thursday to Friday, so these are not for that low pressure system yet, so it's a bit too far out to get, have any, um, any firm ideas with that. But this is generally for low pressure westerly, northwesterly winds that we're going to be seeing before that, because it's still going to be very blustery and stormy before that, just probably not quite as strong as on Friday. You can see Wednesday 6 pm till Thursday 6 pm, very strong winds could cause some disruption. Um, Potentially 60, 70 mile per hour in, eight, uh, in places, 80 to 90 miles per hour across exposed coast and on the hills of Scotland. High impact, lower um, uh, likelihood, but of course it is close to an amber. So we could see this upgrade potentially through Wednesday, Thursday. And of course, if we do see that name storm, that smaller pressure system develop through Friday, could be something seeing something similar on Friday as well.
Now, if we do finish up by have a look at the UK Maths Office run, have a look at what this run is showing, um, or this model is showing for the next five days. Now, you can see the heavy rain spreading through today, and it's going to only slowly clear through this evening. Uh, especially in the southeast, and even by tomorrow morning we still have some showers further southwards and even some snow across the north, but things should break apart. We should see some sunshine through Monday, but maybe nothing too significant. A few showers around for Valentine's Day, but nothing, uh, nothing too crazy. Beyond that, though, we do start to see another weather front pushing heavy snow, potentially across Scotland and over high ground. Again, could be overdoing that a little bit, and I would expect over high ground, but perhaps not to low-lying areas this time, maybe front edge, uh, but we'll have to see with that. And beyond that, just generally an area of rain that pushes through. And then Tuesday, another big low-pressure system, so very unsettled, but luckily that most of that rain is falling overnight and should clear for another system moves through by Wednesday afternoon. More heavy rain um, and some snow showers for the north to unsettled air mass. And then through Thursday into Friday, we see that real vigorous low pressure system move through now we can't quite see it spinning up fully but you can see heavy snow across many parts of northern england northern ireland and i would sp suspect into scotland as well as so those temperatures will be really quite chilly so very heavy snow potentially there again will be localized will be uh, relying on evaporative cooling but it is very very possible indeed now if we do have a look at the wind gusts especially later this week now, you can see a snippet there of what we're coming potentially later this week. Now, you can see through Monday, nothing too crazy. Um, not look, We're looking really for any reds um, or worse. And you can see by Tuesday, some blustery winds here or there, but nothing too crazy. But by Wednesday, very heavy wind, uh, very strong winds. And that's why we have that yellow wind warning. Could be seeing 70, 80, 90 or 100 mile per hour winds in the north. That could even be a name storm potentially. Uh, but it really is later in the week. That's the storm we're watching. 100 mile per hour gusts. And it is deepening at this stage. Could get worse than that. As I said, the most, the deepest part of this low pressure system, um, or when it reaches its peak in terms of low pressure, it appears to be when it's over northern Scotland. So it's still got a bit of deepening to go on. It's could be seeing 110 or higher than that wind gust. So could be a severe storm coming later this week. Again, it's still four or five days away, so I don't want to say anything too uh, much on it. But the latest model output is showing some worrying conditions. So do stay vigilant out there. Do stay, uh, take care, and do listen to the warnings uh, and your local authorities, of course, and do prepare. Um, regardless of what happens on Friday with this small area of pressure system, it's going to be windy. There's going to be 60, 70 mile per hour winds. It's just whether we see these 100 mile per hour wind gusts. That is the uncertainty at this stage. Because as I said, Wednesday, Thursday time, we already have a warning in for 70, 80 mile per hour winds. Um, and it could be even stronger than that through Thursday into Friday. Friday. So especially if you're in the north, but not exclusively the north, southwest parts of Ireland as well could be very strong gusts coming up over this next coming week. Um, so make sure you do stay uh, stay um, stay alert and follow the warnings. Now if we look at the max temperature, it's going to be very much up and down. You can see today temperatures 7, 8, 9, 10 degrees, a bit above average, but it's felt chilly out there because of the rain. Tonight, though, temperatures could cool down across Scotland, but nothing too crazy for elsewhere. And by Monday afternoon, temperatures are generally around average 6 to 8 degrees. Uh, through Monday night, still quite chilly. Many areas dropping to a low single digits, perhaps uh, frost for some areas. But I'm not expecting anything too crazy. Tuesday, pretty chilly, 9, 10 degrees across the south. A bit cold further north, so we have a split in air masses, and then big low-pressure system moves in. See, big mild sector 13 degrees in the south a bit colder further northwards then through thursday temperatures drop away once again as we have a cold air mass but as i said as we head towards friday you see these massive temperature contrasts 12, 11 12 degrees in the far southwest freezing across northern england republic of ireland northern ireland scotland so there could be a severe winter storm potentially coming up later this week looking at this latest model data don't want to overhype it by any means but there is potential there so do make sure you do stay tuned um, of course i'll be updating this every day as we head towards later this working week um, so do uh, keep an eye on videos and of course the met office as well as they will be on top of this um, getting their weather warnings out as i do suspect we will be seeing at least yellow if not amber and potentially if these models verify with the wind um, with the rain and the potential snow blizzard conditions we could even be seeing maybe another red warning so please do keep up to date with the forecast if you are in um, any areas that could be severely affected by this which is pretty much everywhere in the west and the north um probably the best areas for any of these storms is probably in the southeast uh, but the north um or most of the northern england 
most of Wales, southwest England, Republic of Ireland, Northern Ireland could be seeing some severe impacts over the next five days. Very severe indeed. So do stay up to date. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you again for another video soon.